Hi guys, this is a video about the Arclix Spices and we're going to detail into the script. So there is an application that will get your Arclix keys, Arclix mirrors and Arclix repos in. Three things you need on an Arch system. Keys, where is it? And tell me where it is, that's the pacman.conf, where are the repos actually, right? All these settings need to be there and you'll be fine. Okay. So Arclix Spices, if I say the word, you can Google the word, YouTube. Well, let's do Arclix Spices, see what we get. Google says Arclix Spices application. So ASA, as we call it in short, you can download it and you can have it, right? It's just an application, but like they say here as well, if you can git clone things, basically, this thing used to be something super complex and we kind of derailed back in the days because we learned how to make an application of um, on, on Linux, on Arco Linux, right? So we made buttons and buttons and you think, oh my God. Um, so it was a little bit too complex, five buttons or something like that. And we said, let's get back to the basics. Let's make this smarter and easier rather than five buttons. We have just the one button. Oh, we don't see it in this video. Somewhere in here, right? These are old videos about the Spices application. It's essentially the same thing, right? Essentially, it's the same thing. But what we have in the latest videos, so you can also look for if you go like this and then here, use our search right do not use this search because well hits will be less simple as that so spices here gives you a lot of information and when do we use spices when we are on something else than arclix the arclix spices application will assist you in getting arclix packages from the arclix repositories it's not meant to be run on arclix it's meant to be run on Arshlinx, EndeavorOS, Garuda, Manjaro, anything Arch-based, that's where it's supposed to be installed. And we're gonna look at the scripts because if you don't want to install, well, I'll, I'll install it as well, right? All in the same video. Then, um, then there are other ways. Just get the script because the 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 essence of the application tool is a script that's it so can we get to, to this these scripts that we're talking about Arclix, spices github where everything's on github so that's easy for you Arclix, spices github let's have a look so this is a small tool something you can repurpose if you want to right make it for yourself and say, rather than installing the Arclix Spices, I'm gonna use the same kind of code to get my scripts in, my keys in. This is it, this is the essential bit. If you press the button, this happens. So, raw, control A, control C, control shift, enter. Let's go to the desktop. Oof, lots of things are already there. Um, pictures, projects, let's go in projects or videos. Videos can be deleted. Voila. Let's go to here. Oh, I'm recording. That was not smart. <laughs> I wonder if he has a problem with that. Let's see. Am I still recording this thing? 23. So now it's 25. Okay. So the recording of Simple screen record is not yet here. Cool. Whew. So, right, right mouse click, create document. My little script, something like that, right? Whatever, give it a name, my little script. For reading purposes, I will say .sh, so I know it's a shell script. And then control V. It will say the shebang at the beginning saying, hey, use bash. Design changed a little bit, so I know with this 
um, look this icon I know I can run it if right mouse click make executable so LL it's not executable it's not green read write execute so let's do the small thing small plus execute oh plus execute my little script LL it's now green X X X or the same happens if I do make executable okay same thing happens as well if you do properties permissions make executable allow this file to run as a program no off LL it's not not executable anymore so back executable you see switch around a switcheroo so if you want to have this and let's go into the code now so you don't need an application all you need is this and let's see at the code no that's not it um i just wanted to find a key binding find section view 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 show console a layout let's do full screen okay a little bit like this getting well first of all if we're large i don't think wget is installed so no confirm means i don't want to say yes 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 all the time and if it's already there need it don't install it getting the arclinx key so the arclinx repo report if link is broken and it is sometimes broken right if we update this we have to think oh i should have updated as well because we went from two to three or something like that so basically this is the url where you can find it get me this package put the package output in the temporary file which means if you reboot it's gone it's empty right so it's great to have temporary rubbish that you say let's download it let's install it ideal place to put it tmp and then install it later on with no confirmation needed this particular temp uh, file or, or package same applies so if these are the keys then this is the mirror so who's signing it where is it okay same applies so a package put it in temp and install it and here maybe something can go wrong if you've been messing about what happens here on a clean installation you're gonna look inside etcpacman.conf if the word arclinux repo is in there on a clean arch linux repo there will never be a reference to arclinux repo right ever so it says it's not available if it is available it says okay it's already there i'm not gonna put it double because otherwise pacman will say hey that's not possible it's already in there so it's it's a double there and it will not it will not work so there's a check if arclinx repo is there so if you run it twice for example it will say arclinx repos are already in pacman done if it's not in there and we are in the else here we are going to put echo all this text till here this text with an enter will go behind and we can make this smaller with a minus a if you want but this is more dedication of course append it after the etc pacman.conf so you open up pacman.conf and add append all of this with an enter beneath it it's not what we do on Arclinx, right? We put first Arclinx repos and later Arch because the idea is we overrule Arch. As simple as that. Pacman.conf works if you know it like GIMP or like Adobe Photoshop. It works with layers. It means the first thing it gets to that will be used. So if Discord is failing on Arch, we put our discord in arcmix repo it will go down and says this i can't use 
hashtag. Discord is not in repo. Discord is not from us, it's from a third party. So in the third party, he will find Discord. He will update it. That's the ArcLinux thing. The ArcLinux thing is that this bit is at the bottom. Meaning up here, uh, up here somewhere is the ArchLinux repo. And it says there's no need for a Discord update. There is no update. Nothing to do. Right? So that's the difference between the um, yeah, the position where we put it. If you install anything else, if, you, if you're not an article, right? If you're not an article, these things will be at the bottom. So if you say, ah, I want to follow the, the idea of Arcanlex, then you should put these guys before Arch. And that is also my advice to all the ISO builders out there. Then you have control over the systems, or well, your own system, but the system of the user. And you can help them by building a package, putting it on your repo, and it will come in, the update. Otherwise, it will not come in. All right. So uh, and a little bit more insight into this, um, this little script here that we now have. And maybe to complete things, uh, I do not do all these things. I just download this uh, guy. I will go to the download folder. Whoa go to the download folder and I'll do this sudo pacman whoa. so on anything else but Arco very important right anything else but Arco Archcraft right I'll do Arco like spices git and I'll do Eric password uh, that's not my password is this my password oh don't tell me shift lock of oh, you know what I mean. You type in your password and you get the Arconix um, Spices application that you can run. Maybe it's already installed. <laughs> no, it's not. So Arconix Spices and then you run it and it's simply a button. Maybe we can show, well, here the image is here. A simple button, get the Arconix keys and packages. But if you're looking at the older videos, you'll see, well, we, we kind of liked working and programming in, um, well, you see here, uh, Endeavor OS, it's all possible to get our BSPWM or Herbsluft WM on anything Arch, right? It's all Arch Linux in the end. Um, I wanted to end with this as well. So guys, remember, these are the websites. And this morning I had to tell to somebody, the B stands for building, right? Everything you know, we need to know about building is here. And Arclinx ISO is a from scratch thing. Carly, from A till Z, all the workflows and all the things we had to do to make an ISO. Now, what I wanted to show is the following. If you say spices, you find the word here as well. Right? If you go and search, that's the search icon there. But there is also here the word spices. It's so much fun to start with an Arch Linux or an Endeavor OS and then do your thing with it. Stay in control. So some of these guys have, um, well, I end up with, so basically I install Arch Linux, the Arch way or with Arch install, which is another option, Arch install, right? And I say, okay, let's now also get i3 from Arch Linux because I like the config or I, I, I like left WM and stuff like that. The Arch Linux tweak tool, I wanna to have it. So click, 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 whoop, desktop is installed. It's awesome, right? Then you need to have the spices. If you're on something else, then Arch Linux. I hope that's uh, a bit clear and um, maybe you're again enthusiastic to give it a go. All right, cheers.